This is the Park Plaza in central London. It's got over a thousand bedrooms, a spa, a swimming pool, bars and restaurants. And as a building, it needs 1.4 megawatts of power to operate. Now imagine if this hotel turned off its air conditioning for just one hour. That would reduce the load on the grid by 350 kilowatts. It may not sound like a huge amount, but what if it wasn't the only building doing that? So from this rooftop, I can see another dozen or so hotels. Add to that this hospital, the Houses of Parliament, the office buildings that I can see. In my field of view, for example, if you added 400 buildings, each turning off their air conditioning for an hour, that would equate to a power saving of 140 megawatts, the equivalent of taking a small power station off the grid for an hour. And that's just with 400 buildings. Think about how many there are in a city for or less in the entire country. It's what many people have been stressing is the solution, and it's now happening in the UK. This is the control room of Kiwi Power in central London. Set up just five years ago, this company has signed up hundreds of buildings and organisations who allow them to temporarily switch off their electrical devices to lower the demand when the national grid is maxed out. So we're talking about hotels, hospitals, shopping centres, airports, mines, distribution centres, water treatment facilities, anyone that uses a lot of power. So what exactly do you turn off and does it depend on the business? We always focus on non-essential loads. So we'll focus on the kind of stuff that we can turn down for half an hour or an hour without actually affecting output. So when the grid is looking for that extra energy, how does it work with you? So what will happen is National Grid will decide how much power they need at that specific point in time. Okay. They'll be short of 10 megawatts or 50 megawatts or whatever it might be. They'll push a button in their control room, which will feed into here. Our system will pick the sites that need to be dispatched and call them. What's that? That's an actual demand response event. Oh, is so it? everything's automated on the system. However, the very last signal is somebody the needs si to call this number. The signal I that comes it. in from the grid to us, phone call. This is brilliant. OK, so are you sure you wish to dispatch contract S-Ban? Yes. Are. Boom. Marriott Hotel, what are we switching off at the Marriott right now? What uh, have I just done? So Park Plaza, we've got control of a lot of the air conditioning system. All the equipment is being switched off automatically. I can bring up the live consumption right now and we can see exactly what's happening. So right at the end there, you can see the consumption has started to drop yeah. um, and uh, about uh, 200, 300 kilowatts has uh, come off um, in just the one hotel. Can we go check it out at the hotel just Absolutely. so I make sure that nobody in there is going, I can tell they've switched something off. Let's, yeah, let's it do out. it, let's go. <laughs> An hour or so later, have the staff and guests even noticed the difference? Have you noticed the temperature change at all in this lobby while you've been here? No. No? Nice, comfortable temperature, not too warm, not too cold. Good to go? I've noticed anything. Have you noticed anything change? No. No? Good, that's the right answer. <laughs> nothing. No, nothing tangible? Have you noticed it getting warmer or colder or anything? No. No? no? Good news. So how does the future look for you? How would you roll this out? If you can imagine, not just a few hundred companies, but thousands or even tens of thousands of companies all operating, being aware of what's going on in the grid, and then beyond that, this being in every home, being in every fridge, being in every freezer, in every washing machine, any appliance that uses some electricity, being aware of what's going on in the grid and adjusting its consumption accordingly. It's still early days, but in the future, it's estimated that companies like Yoav's could substantially reduce the demand on the grid at the touch of a button.